like. Uh, so we're pretty familiar, but maybe T1 has, you know, something that they just can't counter. But it seems like Wubby, I mean, off the start, he's going to be able to get this first take down. And it's just a massacre. Massacre on both sides. Trying to get these picks down just in time on the pistol round. It seems like Wubby's going to get that trade off. That's a 2k for Wubby here, only having those four health. Can't heal themselves, unfortunately, but it seems like Nervous having a really good flank along. And it's just a battle. A 3v2 here. 3v2 here. Still posted up largely outside of the A site. I see just missing Jerk here, but it's going to hear that alt orb go down. Going to miss that shot, but rendezvous away. Play their life a little bit, but what? A nice head tap. YB has Ooh. one, uh, just a few health left, and IC is going to close out that round for third impact. It's going to be a 1-0 so far, taking that pistol under their belts. is going to allow them to buy up. Yeah, it's going to give this round pretty nicely to T1. Mafia just has to be very, very careful you know, as to what they're going to be doing here. Uh, but maybe getting a little bit aggressive. I mean, Wubby does ha have that frenzy there. So possibly using that Who will I spot and getting those? up there and trying to get those close corners is going to help out really nicely and trying to secure a weapon. Standing ahead. Uh, an aggressive mid-take here, though. Just going to be... Uh, Sci-Fi is just going to actually take down two right off the bat. Negating that A split push, kind of forcing it to just be the three going through a main here. Dirk is going to try and get that spike planted. Spike planted. The Owl Drone isn't really going to find anything right off the bat, though. Oh, having that head hunt headhunter there is definitely an advantage. And <laughs> I mean, not a lot you can do. Webby was trying to get that running gun down with a frenzy. I mean, but now that defusal is going to be coming through just fine, just great. That's going to lead to T1 getting a second round in. And this is dangerous territory. I mean, Mafia, I feel like in scenarios like this, you wouldn't generally be afraid. But Mafia knows, you know, they could possibly bring it up, especially within the next round. If T1 doesn't get aggressive off the defense, Mafia just knows that, you know, this is a game that you can't really be a little, you know, you can't make these mistakes. No, not when you have Grand Finals kind of waiting around the corner. We're going to see that full rifle buy. Nothing surprising there. Dirk is, you know, three away from from that Hunter's Fury, as is Wubby from the Seekers. Mm -hmm. Contesting. I, I feel like in these tournaments, I don't see go. enough uh, contention for these ultimate orbs. Um, not as much as I would like to see at the very least. Morg is going to spot one in Halls. But Dim Sum Boy will will be falling back to play with the team, and that Owl Drone is going to clear out a lot of A site, allowing Dynamic to just kind of peek this back pyramid here. Um, potentially get a, a kill off, but it's not going to quite land. It's just going to take a lot of damage from Poke through that toxic screen. I mean, knowing Dynamic, they oh. do have a very, oh, a very aggressive, you know have aggro peaks that they do occasionally but i mean right there will be getting annihilated just eliminated by that shock dart it's not going good but dim sum is in a corner it doesn't seem like it's gonna go to icy icy unfortunately aiming a little bit too high there for dim sum but it's just a one against two players of mafia but right now mafia is having a really good time all they have to do is be able to not allow this defusal to come through but t1 just taking it down home it's not gonna be a fake from there Unfortunately, I feel like for Mafia, that was a, that was a spot that you know you can't really do anything about. You, you you can't see the player, the fuse, the spike in that position, so it definitely wasn't planted towards Janitor. Yeah, it was really unfortunate. The spike was just planted a little bit too far on the side of the pyramids, where you know we we're able to see Morg kind of hide away, tuck themselves behind that right pyramid, and not be spotted, getting that defuse down, and just not being at an angle where they would be taking any damage aside from through abilities and Dirk's going to be peeking here with the marshal. But Trailblazer is going to come out to Ooh. clear a lot of space for dynamic, but it's going to be taken down by Icy kind of right off the bat here. Hall's control has been taken though by Mafia as well. It's just going to be a, a duel of who's going to shut the shut the switch and open it time and time again of back and forth. I feel like I'm, you know, I'm in kindergarten playing hide and seek, closing and opening the door. I don't know if you guys did that. You hide in the cabinet, oh. but it seems like nobody's going to be hiding. Evolve 
is just going to be hiding right around the corner. And Wide Swing, that Morgue is helping out the team just as well. And Jerk is waiting? Jerk is trying to at least get something to pick, if anything, but it seems like Morg is just going to close this off. T1 is really dominating right now. They are not playing around. They are not going for this map here. Now, third impact is here to take it, you know, two grands. They're looking to get these rounds over as quickly as possible, and they have a really great defense so far. The retakes are quite on point, and just their holds as well. Icy has, you know, so far, I mean, four rounds in, Icy's got ice in their veins. Being able to get those shots off, rendezvous away, be able to play their life. And we have quite a few ultimates available as well, as well as a few players on both sides who are just one off away from theirs. And that tool to false is going to come out right away. Mm. I see a dynamic or a very interesting position here, but that operator play is coming in. Sci fi is just not able to get one. It's leaving sci-fi having to watch for some mid control there, but the majority of the players on the side of Mafia are still wavering around what site they want to be pushing. Knowing that operators there is going to be a little bit deadly, especially since sci-fi, you know, a little bit predominant within that operator. But I see also has something you could technically call an operator. Maybe being able to get this first pick down. It's 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 just very hard to pick a site here. A mafia's. Spending a lot of time kind of just creeping around the map, not getting too much map control. We do have Morg already aggressively pushed into Elbow here. The Seekers are going to come out, though, revealing more. Dynamic's going to get that dash onto the site, and just so much utility is going to go out with that Hunter's Fury. Ooh, and right there, that's just going to leave a 3v4. This retake is not going to be easy. This might just be able to be Mafia's round. That shock card is coming through, though. Wubby only has a little bit of health to be working with. Hiding around Pillar. Trying to at least get something, but this Viper Spit might as well just help. Janitor's just here to rat. Try to hide in this Viper's Pit as long as possible. Buy their team some time. Slow down that defuse. Just live as long as they possibly can. Side by is gonna get two though in that situation oh. with such low health and evil is gonna close out the round. Another round on the board for third impact. Five and O oh against Mafia. Three players left alive as well. And I mean, I feel like Mafia probably feels like that sage spray right now <laughs> with how these rounds are going. It was an expensive oh. round for TI, but definitely worth it um we do have that neural theft though in the hands of dim sum boy could be a very cool thrifty to come out with that information see some crazy martial picks here especially with that hero gun in janitor's hands who's actually gonna elect mm. to save now with the team and an operator is gonna be holding down halls but nobody's peeking that this time around the drone is coming through and some information is being given, but there's, there's some Viper utility coming out from... <sighs> I, I, I throw an impact is having a really nice you know, time here. They don't really have to worry about anything. They're just holding on to the site. This aggression is not going to be coming through, especially with the Viper utility surrounding site. It's just Viper's playground. It's not necessarily something you want to be peeking, especially sci-fi with the operator being able to get one jerk. Getting that trade off, but not a lot you can do third impact here. Having a good time. I like the rotation that is being called off Dim Sum Boy. You know, has pushed up to doors. Not quite gotten a sight yet. They will be met with the chamber, but the guiding light's gonna come out. Actually, not get icy. So no information was truly gathered there. And Spike is gonna be dropped. Frags are going out everywhere. It's 3v3, just like that, Gompers. Ooh. And right there you have it. I mean, third impact is kind of dominating right now. I, there's nothing you can really do. I mean, the timeout is very necessary for Mafia. They need this timeout to be able to, you know, realize what they're doing wrong. But I think in general, it's just you can't really pass sci-fi with the operator. Not only that, but it's a lot of 1v1s being taken. Not a lot of utility uh, dismembering the enemy team. So they're just kind of blind peeking things and hoping for the best at this point on the side of Mafia. That's why Third Impact is just having a really good time here.
The pacing feels a little bit awkward coming from Mafia right now as well. I mean, you have those lurks up through mid, you have a bit of information gathering through B, you know, some commitment is being made mm -hmm. and then the back off happens and I, rotations are called all the time, uh, but I don't know, something just feels a little bit off the groove of the Mafia that we saw earlier today, to be completely honest with you, a bit of a lack of synergy coming out from them. And it, I mean, it's been a long day as well. I'm sure both teams are tired and to have have to kind of take this 6-0 and o right now as well has got to be tough on Mafia's mental. So hopefully, like you said, this timeout allows Mafia to kind of slow down the momentum of TI, regain their footing a little bit, rethink their plan of attack. And to be honest though, Icy's kind of just been killing it on the A site, ha has gotten some really great picks time and time and again. And the rendezvous has been so strong as well, allowing them to play their life, um, playing that more aggressive chamber that we're kind of used to seeing right now. And Mafia's going to go back towards that default, trying to grab a bit more mid control, see if they can bait out some pushes from third impact or rotations as well. But uh, what I like about third impact is that they don't tend to overextend themselves. Yeah, they're not going to be. It seems like a rotation is coming through for. Uh, third impact here, although the drone is trying to clear some corners, the flash, the guiding light's going to be blinding dynamic, so it's not going to allow for that really, really aggressive take onto site, but, I mean, already playing for the retake here, it seems like Mafia is getting, you know, pretty aggressive on the attack with dynamic already trying to get a pick off of Icy. Backing off was probably the best decision you could have made. Now we're going to be having that Hunter's Fury, but a collateral coming out from Sci-Fi. Hunter's Fury being able to get this pick, and it's going to be leaving Dim Sum Boy all by their lonesome, not being able to close this out. Wow, this is definitely, this is definitely third impact's map. Clearly it is, and oh, the, the, that pause did really nothing to slow down third impact and the momentum that they built for themselves. You can tell that they're feeling hot. They're feeling good about the 7-0 lead. Hopefully we don't see them getting too cocky afterwards, you know, maybe making more aggressive plays, letting it to get to their head a little bit. But Dynamic, we've mentioned before, was so impactful on the side of Mafia in these previous games that we casted earlier, that we cast earlier today. Just is actually 0-7 at the moment, not able to have the same kind of impact that those are used to. But as I say that, it's going to enter with the Blade Storm taking down Nerve, looking to wrap around Sci-Fi here will be good for a second. Those opening picks are huge for Mafia. This could be the first round on the board for them. Spike planted. Spike being planted for the impact. He's trying to get some shock shards in. It's not going to be able to hit, though. It's going to be a trailblazer trying to get some information through and some sprays through the wall. Not a lot of damage being done. Third impact does have a really good chance here, especially with the goal. We get that pick. Now it's just left to dynamic. Being able to get the, you know, I mean, Evol, I don't know if you can do much here, especially, you know, having to wide peek with that operator, but Janitor's going to be able to clean this up, and that's going to be the first round here for Mafia. I mean, third impact really does have that leeway to make these mistakes, especially now since it's 7-1, to one, but they can't be making too many. No, and yeah, Dynamic just had me eat my words after I mentioned, you know, the lack of impact that they ha have been having so far in this game. Just opening things up with the cool 3k for themselves. We've got that Hunter's Fury online as well and the Neural Theft. Mafia could take this round under their belts. They have an off to contest sci-fi this time around and Dynamic is going to get that first pick on Evil. A second as well, taking down the Operator on the side of third impact. Mafia is really finding their groove here and the Neural Theft is just going to come out. Ooh, that Hunter's Fury. Uh, it was used, but unfortunately was not utilized uh, in, the, in the best way. But right now, Janitor is going to be able to get one here. Mafia is slowly, you know, figuring it out. They have the, I mean, the spike is being planted on a separate site. But they were able to get a lot of picks surrounding down A. And that's going to be leaving Mork all by their lonesome here with the operator. They're going to have to save that. I mean, unless they want to be able to buy another one. But I mean, Third Impact does have the economy for this. Oh. Yeah, they. I mean, in general, Mafia being able to take these two rounds in their hands, you know, it, it's huge for Mafia. But third impact, they have a lot.
of Eco. You know, they don't really have to worry too much here, but they also have to worry just a little bit for the fact that, you know, now that this pause is coming in, I mean, they can't really lose any more rounds as it is. The Mafia is looking to creep closer and closer to tying it up and maybe taking the lead. I mean, we do see that the timeout was called from Icy, trying to slow down the little momentum that Mafia has gathered for themselves so far. And for, I mean, yeah, players can't move right now on, on the map, but just based off of what we could see, the setup that Mafia was going for, it looks like it will likely be uh, an A default, at least to start out. Third impact. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. It's it's hard. I'm excited to see Mafia like bring this game closer together, but I'm also wondering, you know, what's going on in the heads of Third Impact right now. They had the seven no lead. Obviously, you can't necessarily expect it to come out as a thirteen and zero, but they're being put in in the sticky situation with their eco. Like you said, they're on the verge of being placed in that awkward economy uh, where you do have to save and and buy kind of every other round. And if they do lose this this round in particular, it will be an awkward scuffed buy the, the next round coming up. So that would allow Mafia to just take more rounds for themselves. The slow push from Dynamic up halls here too. It's very brave with the operator to try <laughs> yeah. and be, like taking these close angles as you get near the double doors. Oh, <laughs> I like how Morg's feet are <laughs> just doing a little salsa. Um, oh, but this is coming through. Having the shorty there is no. going to be huge for Dynamic. That's going to be one player lost of third impact. And I mean, Shock Dart being able to take some damage, but not enough to the point where, you know, it's, it's worrying or third impact. Um, but just holding the sights here is going to be huge. Although this execution that might just come off on B, Mafia might just be able to get this down in their hands. Nerve though does have this utility and having that snake bite is going to be able to hold this off just enough for a rotation to come through. 40 seconds though, they have to be able to push through. I mean, third impact doesn't have a lot of time. And that's going to be a pick off for dynamic there. Ooh. I am so confused as to why Dynamic pulled out the shorty in that situation. I'm not going to question it, but I see uh, it's going to be good for one on A site. It's a 3v2 situation now. Wubby poised here at double doors, kind of just waiting for someone to creep by. It'd be good for one here. Oh, and the util is going to come out from Evil, not ready with the gun out or checking those corners. Viper's Pit online nerve. Left to clutch it out. Hopefully has Nerves of Steel. That toxic screen is available, but they're gonna know Nerve is coming from A main with that recon Ooh. bolt. Ooh. Oh no. Nerve can smell them. It's exactly where they are. The janitor. <laughs> janitor knows where the mess is. It's gonna clean it up, put it in the trash can, and right now Mafia. I mean, they're just cleaning up. They're fixing all the mistakes that they had made previously, and it's just leading. It's just leading third impact down the, down the drain at this point. I mean, Mafia's been really taking it together, having these two rounds, uh, three rounds in a row down their belt. It's going to be huge, especially. Mm -hmm. I mean, now we have this operator coming out from Dynamic, and we know how deadly Dynamic can be, especially since they're a very aggro peeker. The thing is, with four ultimates available on the side of third impact, this tool default is coming out as well. It really could still be a, a great eco round sci-fi, especially with that opening pick on Wubby with the blade storm there. Definitely huge that tool the falls kind of just waiting and oh my god, taking down dynamic. Oh, and it's just gonna be another one. I see. Trying their best to be able to hold this down. That's gonna be plant coming along for Mafia here. Now, this retake, it's going to be a sandwich in for the retake if you have alert coming in, but it's not going to work. Janitors are just going to be cleaning up like the janitor they are, and I mean, in general, it's just, it's just unbeatable. The moment Mafia finds their momentum, it is not stoppable, unless, I mean, maybe the defense can come a little bit harder, but having that cypher there is not going to make it easy for third impact. No, but we do have that Viper's Pit online. We do have, you know, the 
I believe the Seeker is as well available for third impact. So that's pretty huge as far as, you know, Viper's Pit coming out early and likely blocking yeah. off B site. It is going to be a B take though. So I'm hoping that Nerve doesn't get caught out early with this utility trying to get the pit down. It's easy. The trail plays are trying to clear things out. And Dynamic's just going to dash right onto site. Oh, <laughs> I really like the way Dynamic plays. But the but I mean, when you think about it in long term, you're just going to get picked off separately. And I mean, that's exactly what's showing now. That's going to leave Mafia with only three players here to be playing off of. And Morg is going to get one through the smoke. Right now, Spike is down. There's only one minute, 17 seconds. That's a little bit of leeway here. But I mean, now only Dim Sum Boy by themselves. I don't know how well this is going to last. Maybe just playing for for some picks here, possibly. But I mean, Dim Sum has the economy to be a little bit, a little bit less careful. I mean, it is last round of the half, though, and Icy is going to clean it up for third impact. Said four is all you get to Mafia. I. I agree with you though. Once Mafia gets rolling, they found their footing. I, I mentioned prior that it felt a little bit awkward. It seemed like the coordination was slacking a little bit, but ever since that, the tactical pause that did come out, we're seeing Mafia kind of revamping themselves. We're seeing that coordination come in, uh, that familiar aggression from Dynamic as well started to pan out. And we are swapping sides. TI now on the attack. Mafia will be defending on Breeze and. I'm mm -hmm. interested to see how Mafia will, will play this out. We do we do know that on, on the attack, or, or sorry, on the defense, at least in the maps that we saw earlier today, Mafia does like to go for those occasional flanks. Wrong. They do like to aggro peak things on defense as well, certain angles, and try to get those early picks. Um, so I, it'll be interesting to see if they do the same as on Breeze Ooh. and Dynamics going to be. Good for one, opening it up with the Sheriff and Tailwinding away. That's gonna be really good for third impact here. Oh, that pick. That's gonna be huge, but a four. Oh my, Dynamic is just gonna close it off with a 3k. Oh my, when, when you thought it couldn't get any better for Mafia, they just keep bringing the heat back. Yep, they're here to tie it up. I mean... 8-5. It'll likely be 8-6 to six after this round, considering the fact that Mafia is able to comfortably buy up now. Oh, those are so clean. The headshots from Dynamic were so clean that round, and being able to do them in quick succession with the Sheriff is definitely huge as well. And sci is going to play a bit of a hero gun with this Marshal here. Mm. Trying to get that orb at least accumulate some points for that hunter's fury but not enough just yet it is mafia having you know the upper hand here with the rifles uh with with the smgs so I, they don't really have to be as careful but they're just gonna be careful uh, just so that they don't peek those close corners uh coming out onto the choke but not a lot to be doing icy could possibly get a couple here ash Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. One enemy remaining. Oh, bike down B. I mean, the headhunter does 30 seconds really left. well, especially on the save rounds, but there's only two bullets left, like you said previously. So I don't know how well this is going to work out, especially with that guiding light coming into play. Dim Sum is just going to be peeking out with Jerk coming out on the flank there. And Defenders, Mafia being able to win this against third impact here. It's, it's looking rough. I mean, Dynamic might just be able to, you know, take another round in their belt, especially with this operator, but I mean... Third impact needs to figure out what they need to do and, you know, exactly what they're messing up, uh, you know, in this aggression onto site. You're absolutely right, Gompers. And mm -hmm. I think we're going to take a cool tech pause really quick. Some issues have cropped up. Um, but just to touch on the previous round, once again, I, I actually want to say I like that guiding light that came out from Wubby. 
just yeah. to buy Jerk a little bit more time to get that flank off so that nobody really had to sacrifice their lives on the side of um, of Mafia to, to secure that round and just kind of play it a bit more safely, uh, keep as many guns in their hands as possible, keep their shields up and strong. And I don't know. Do you have any thoughts on maybe what Third Impact could be doing now on, on the attack to be able to kind of get a couple rounds under their belt? They had such a great lead starting up, and Mafia has kind of just been rolling with the punches. I think in general it's just been a little hard because Mafia has changed up, you know, the way that they've been playing. I, I think previously you could say that, I mean, Third Impact just kind of let themselves go in a sense, especially on the defense, but... Um, I mean, now that we've switched up and it, it, it is the halftime, we could, I, I guess you could also say that it's just the pistol round and it's possibly mm -hmm. just the fact that Third Impact has lost, you know, lost the first pistol round in just a wave of, you know, having everybody on Mafia push the site in, in kind of a weird way and it just kind of caught them by surprise. So Third Impact didn't know what to do. But now that they're coming on here and they're being able to get these rifles they could possibly be able to switch this up uh, which is something i think could definitely happen i mean but the issue at hand here is that mafia having dynamic on their team um, it is very unknown as to what is going to happen especially on sites because dynamic is willing to peak any and every angle and that's a good and a bad thing that is mm -hmm. extremely punishable it is very punishable i mean we saw how impactful dynamic could be earlier today in quarterfinals mm -hmm. taking those aggressive peaks like you said was just a, a total force to be reckoned with kind of rolling everybody over out aiming most people and then when we didn't see that same kind of uh those impact frags the first bloods coming out from dynamic on the attacking side for the mafia it it seemed like everything was like a little bit off mm -hmm. and i commented on that the awkward pacing on the attack it it just didn't feel like what we saw earlier today. And I apologize if you guys didn't catch quarterfinals, but the Mafia did have really great synergy. They had great util usage um, and they worked very well together to get executions down onto site. And, but luckily those tactical pauses allowed them to kind of find their footing again, reset their mental and be prepared to use these combinations but janitor is actually gonna be good for Ooh. three right off the bat with the sheriff some insane shots oh. dim some boys gonna clean up a fourth and it's a 1v4 five situation just like that third impact and janitor's good for a fourth one as well closing it out round seven going on the board for mafia an incredible eco round for them oh I mean, that's just rough. At that point, it was just the aim battles that Third Impact took, and Mafia just ended up really securing that down. Uh, but Dynamic does have enough for the Operator here now, and it is looking a little fierce. We know Dynamic is an aggressive player, so I'm 100% thinking Dynamic's going to peek out here, hoping for some pits. Standing ahead. Don't here is that's hoping. Really gonna do anything, no, <laughs> no I, I'm surprised oh. that... They're actually going for B once again, and this time it's going to be Wubby cleaning it up with the 3k gompers. Ooh. Yeah. I, I mean, the last round, definitely there was no excuse. I, they just, third impact just funneled themselves. So they all kind of just got annihilated in that sense and just mowed down. But I mean, in, in this sense, it is a... It is kind of a save round for third impact, mm -hmm. so they have a little bit more of that leeway. We can't make fun of them, you know. Uh, but, I mean, it is 8 to 8. Mafia completely brought this back up. Something we, I mean, Wabi was just completely dominating in that sense. I feel like there's a lot of 3Ks coming around, and I like the fact that Mafia is not allowing third impact to get these sites. I just, uh, I mean, I know it was an eco. I totally understand that, you know, Third impact was at this gun disadvantage mm -hmm. that that previous round, but the fact that you want the commitment the to go back to B site and just run in and be mowed down a second time over after how dirty you were done before is like a whole other kind of bravery to me. But we are seeing third impact is kind of adjusting their attacking strategy, moving their way towards the A site this time around. But that viper's pit did come out, and 
Ward is just here, ready. Unfortunately, we'll be taken down by Wubby. Wubby we'll for situation. Ooh, the operator on dynamic here. It, although it's not going to be able to be used, Third Impact is going to be moving themselves around, leaving Mafia. Uh, I mean, this retake is definitely not going to be easy. We do have two players and an operator for dynamic. Although, uh, I, I mean, dynamic being one of those aggressive players, I could definitely peek out, possibly get a collateral, maybe two, but it seems like one is going to be taken. Another one off the hands of dynamic. Right now, that dash is coming through, but Dynamic knows exactly where Chamber is located. Icy, though, is going to be bringing out that tour day force, and it's just going to lead to the massacre of Mafia. Third Impact finally getting their round back, because they've been losing a lot here. But this might just be a back and forth, or maybe Third Impact just kind of found, you know, the momentum that they need to go towards and what's been working. I don't know. Mafia might take it to match point. They seem to like to take their rounds in fours right now but like you said the momentum has been slowed a little bit bit of an expensive round coming out considering the fact that we did lose that viper's pit we lost the blade storm as well but mm -hmm. they're just gonna go for that wall bang kind of angle for chop shop there for whoever decides to take the orb and off the bat we're gonna have that owl drone coming up just to clear that information and the spray down through chop shop is gonna come up but not quite connect sci-fi with the operator. Just hoping someone's gonna peek out from in between pyramids right now. And Dynamics got that the halls on lock at the moment. But a bit of a reset coming out from the spike actually, Gompers. If you don't I don't know if you see over there, but it actually looks like the Viper will be coming towards A. But no commitment is being made and the clock's kinda just running down at the moment. And it's gonna be fifty seconds really soon and Icy's just Got this great lurk, trying to, I think, bait some rotations over from Mafia towards B, so that the rest of the third impact can make a play to A. Ooh, that Hunter's Fury. Not getting a lot, though. Uh, but third impact does have a really nice... They have a nice uh, angle here, left. especially with Sci-Fi watching around with that Operator. They're just waiting for the rotation to come through down mid. Although 30 seconds left, Third Impact has to be able to get the spike down, and that's going to be Sci-Fi being able to get one, possibly another. That quick scope is not going to be connecting, though. That's just going to be leaving Dynamic with the Operator as of right now, trying to stop this plant from coming down. I mean, now that the plant is down, this leads for a three-man retake and a four-man Post plant here. World. That Viper's Pit is definitely not going to make it any oh! easier for Dynamic, but right through the wall, it's going to be one for Dynamic instead. And I mean, Evil, <laughs> right around the corner. Nobody knows that Evil's coming in for this plank right here. And I mean, the trigger discipline is huge. No! no! Oh! <laughs> the whiff initially, but it's not planted for Evil right now. Turf is just ready, gonna get that one pick off, but not able to secure the the kill as far as stopping that defuse. And oh, you mentioned the trigger discipline, mm -hmm. Gompers, and I I really think it was to Evil's detriment. I'm not gonna lie. I think Evil baited their team a little bit in that situation, allowing Mafia to kind of collapse onto the third impact players who were on B site. Mm -hmm. uh, the thought was there. But I think also initially whiffing on on sci-fi was, or not on sci-fi, on dynamic was quite a bit rough on that yeah, part as boy. well. And it's going to be this force up coming out mm -hmm. from third impact right now. The blade storm available and Trailblazer's just going to clear a bit of space in halls, push past this poison cloud and get a bit of information. Taking down that cipher trip is actually pretty huge as well, just putting a little bit more pressure on on Mafia with this defense, worrying about that flank. Dynamics holding this angle. Not being able to get anything though. It's 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 pretty rough because I mean having that operator you need to be able to get those first picks. I mean if you're not able to get them it makes it a little bit harder, especially coming in for this retake on the defense, but third impact here is going to be able to get the spike down. And they do have the advantage when you think about it just simply because they do have that five-man post plant. And I mean, not only that, they have an operator on their side here waiting with Evol. 
right now. I mean, the approach is coming, but it seems like it's not going to be working out to the best of their ability. Mafia, though, is going to just be able to take this up, and that's going to leave Icy by themselves. Might just be able to stop this refusal. No, nope, Imson, just going to clean this up here. That retake was really well done by Mafia, just collapsing on the players on the A site of third impact. You know, in that post plant situation, they weren't able to do too much to fend them off, and Mafia just won the aim duels. Um, but we are going to see this this forced save slash force up kind of situation going on on the side of third impact. I I would hope that they would actually maybe go for just your your usual eco, try and get everybody's uh, economy on a similar level, but the scuffed buy will prevail for now. Trademark's gonna come and watch that elbow flank. The Trailblazer's gonna get that information on sci-fi, though. And nerve, though, it's good for Ooh. one. Taking down Dim Sum Boy with that Guardian. And Icy. Pushed up all the way elbow here. Has that hunt headhunter in hand. Ooh, dynamic is scary here. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just gonna be given to dynamic. I mean, that's a great pick. But, I mean, third impact's trying to get aggressive up here. That's some damage coming out from Ender on to sci-fi and could possibly be able to close this out, but right now, I mean, just one enemy remaining on third impact. Mafia? Mafia is doing incredibly well. I mean, the, the, the issue here is that third impact just can't read into it. No, and I mean, if you think about it, third impact has only gotten two rounds uh, since, since Mafia kind of picked up the pace here. Being able to make this comeback happen from a 7-0 and 0 is impeccable on Mafia's part. And I really want to give them kudos, considering the fact that you got to think about how their mental was doing when they're down 7-0. and 0. Their IGL, or maybe whoever is the designated uh, kind of mood person in their comms, is doing a great job keeping everybody hyped up, keeping everyone's mentals very positive, um, and not letting that tilt factor kind of get to them. Or maybe... Maybe they are tilted and they play better tilted. I know I don't, but I can't really say for them. I don't want to speak on their behalf. And we are going to have that timeout coming out as well, just to slow down momentum. Mafia is one away from match point. And just so everybody at home remembers, this is map three of a best of three between Mafia and Third Impact Four semifinals. The winner of this game will be moving on to Grands versus built by Gamers Academy. Ooh. That goes there. I mean, Mafia. I, I don't know. This this is way too close to, to I mean, to see what's going to happen. Uh, third Impact could literally bring it back in two seconds. But, I, I mean, the issue is just the fact that, you know, they need to be able to do that in a very coordinated way. I think the approaches onto site are nice. I think I think they should get a little bit more aggressive, maybe push back the players of Mafia, see if they can get onto the site that way. But I, I think the general thing that they've been doing is kind of just wavering around sites, rotating, doing a little bit of a game. And I mean, Mafia's just been reading perfectly into that and they get these retakes extremely easy because they always leave that anchor. I mean, the fakes did work very well, uh, that one round in particular, but it was a very uh, invested fake, and Mafia kind of holds steady on, on their defense. Uh, it doesn't re they don't really get baited into these early rotations uh, as much as you would see a lot of other teams, unless a lot of heavy util is being invested into what appears to be a site take, and we're going to see that toxic screen coming out to... And divide the site, but dynamic ready with the operator is gonna be good for one. Oh. Come on, dynamic. Dynamic might just be able to get another one. Ooh, that recon dart being destroyed just in time for Mafia is going to be huge. But third impact trying to get that spike down, and it's just gonna be two for Wabi. 25 seconds, the spike is down, and that's gonna be leaving a vault all by their lonesome. Not gonna be able to get another one. It's gonna be that reload coming through. And that's going to be Mafia being able to take this down to match point. 12 to 9. Third impact. It's looking scary. I, it's a tough it's a tough match point to be at, considering that third impact invested their money into the force up for that round. And we're hoping to, you know, obviously take that one under their belts and give them a little bit more cushion. But now being at match point, they are forced to buy as much as they can and foregoing some utility 
We are going to see largely rifles coming out across the board. Mm -hmm. Icy, however, is going to be stuck on that SMG. Only two away from the Tool to Falls, though. So it, it could be possible that Icy will kind of try and farm these alt orbs. Uh, but it doesn't look like that's the play just quite yet. And Dynamics already snuck their way all the way down mid, getting all this mid control. And Nerve's just playing this game, but Dynamic <laughs> is going to take oh, that one oh. home. It's like playing Osu. Got to click the circles. Dynamic <laughs> <laughs> just could not do it. Oh, but right now only one player standing. Third impact, Evil. Oh, it's looking like the same thing over again. And right now, I mean, Mafia is looking pretty good, but that's going to be one for Evol here. Might just be able to close this out, although that Seekers is not making it any easier. It's just information on information being given, and Evol's, Evol's, oh, Evol's area is just gone. I, I don't know how well this is going to work out. I didn't like coming out and dynamic, just peeking around Defenders the corner. Oh, it's it's going to be a win for Mafia.